Started to feel like shit, hand to the worst. I won't even make a dial if you put me on the car. Let me be there for a while. When I look into your eyes, I don't see the same smile. Probably blame me for the drug I was on before you found me. Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy, Matt B, a.k.a. Piff. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for checking out another video. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Trying to hit a thousand by July, so please, if you don't ever check out another video, just hit that subscribe button for your boy. You might see something interested later on down in the future. You might want to click on and check out, you know what I'm saying? But um, like this video, share this video to any of your platforms, man. It don't matter if it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, just share this video comment down below please comment down below and tell me what you think about what i got to say today so i want people to understand that you know lately well not lately but you know for for many years i've been called this that and the third you know but um i said man after after the day after the day after the amount, the the amount of stuff that I've seen from these celebrities and these 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 um these sports players, these basketball players or whatnot, I said man, I'm done calling people sellouts. And I think that in today's society, I'm starting to see that everybody is pretty much out for personal gain and for themselves. It's a doggy dog world now. And if you ain't on the wave, man, you just, you bound to, you know, you're bound to drown or you're bound to, your town is, the, your neighborhood is bound to flood over. This is not the stuff that you're going to see on the mainstream media. They're going to keep pushing this narrative about hate against Asians you know, and for so many years, we've been trying to tell them that this is this is the specific type of the stuff that goes on in our own neighborhoods. So we keep talking about mad shootings. We keep talking about <laughs> we're talking about a, a guy running up in a in a, in an Asian pol different Asian parlors and shoot um, people, and we're talking about people a, a man running up inside of a grocery store shooting people but at the end of the day do a lot of y'all people even believe these narratives when they happen I know for a fact when it comes to stories like this that there's no there's no denying there's no um there's no way that there's no conspiracy theories when it comes to shootings in our neighborhoods St. Louis alone, man. St. Louis alone. Anytime somebody shoot, get shot in St. Louis, it's not three different times in a, in a, in a day or a night. It's three people being shot at one time. Man, each given time, two or three people are being gunned down. So when you look at Chicago, we we looking at ten to fifteen people getting shot any given time. Detroit. 10 to 15 people getting shot any given time. New York, a good 10. Crime is up here in Vegas, 21%. For what? But um, like I said, man, this, this ain't the stuff, the stuff that y'all gonna see in the mainstream media, man. That's why I ask people to share these videos, even if y'all don't like my little Call of Duty game plan, stuff like that, man. Just share the videos, man. Just listen. We got to take the, the narrative back, man. We got to control the narrative. Developing now, never before seen video of the moments after a mass shooting in the Wrightwood neighborhood that left one dead, seven others injured. You can see people running away. CBS News' Meredith Barrick joins us live from Police headquarters, Meredith, you've learned the group was together because of a previous shooting? Brad, we learned people were gathered for a celebration of life for a man who was a victim of gun violence himself. 
But who owns the business and why the shooting happened at all are still two questions we're trying to get answers for. I'm tired. I'm so tired of this. I, I really am. I am. The guns is killing me this hard. A mother's plea. I'm just right now, my heart is just really heavy. Michelle Chambers says her 28-year-old son, shown here in his hospital bed, will be okay after being shot here at 2515 West 79th Street in Wrightwood. They was here having a good time. They was getting ready to leave. Um, a young lady came to the door. She looked, came in and looked around, and she stepped out, and shots just um, started. This video shows the moment the shooting began. A 26-year-old man was killed, seven others injured. Chambers says she came by this afternoon to find her son's car. Earlier in the day, our cameras captured several vehicles at the scene riddled with bullet holes. The windows where the party was held left damage too. I'm not familiar with this place. Um, I guess this probably was the place they rented out just for the event they was having. A woman who asked to remain anonymous tells us this place is a problem and she wants to see something done about it. They do a lot of um, arguing and, and, you know, fighting and stuff like that, but it don't, it, there's never been no shooting or nothing like that. This is the first time. There is currently no active business license for the location, yet several people said a dance company often utilizes the space. Chicago police say they've recovered multiple weapons at the scene, but so far no arrests have been made. Reporting live outside CPD headquarters, I'm Meredith Barrett, CBS 2 News. And this ain't no disrespect to any other community. At the end of the day, everybody have their own issues. But for the past year, I want people to understand that, you, you know, we've been talking about the victimization of black people. Now this year, I guess this is the new wave, the victimization of Asians. It's crazy that anything that you do, if you're white, that's the society that we've we've you know we've came to. That if anything that you do, if you're if you're white, then there's some type of agenda behind it. But if it's something that you do, if you're black, then you know we can pretty much cover it up or not even speak on it or give any given type of. Um, excuse to why you know black people act the way that they do and which is sad and which is pitiful man and like I said man in, in these agents they didn't they didn't hijack the 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 movement not even hijack the movement it's just their turn now they've been pandered to and they and they've accepted the challenge and they're going to help create a more um, you know, bigger division between blacks and Asians because at the end of the day, you got these idiots that are out here doing stuff, and then uh, any given, uh, you know, a regular person that don't even have problems with any race or try to interact with an Asian or any type of one of these, you know, one of these foreign people, and they act some type of way because of other black people's actions and a lot of people might not even care you know what i'm saying because some people i do i always felt like asians and other race had some you know they felt some type of way about us but you know i always looked at it from an ignorant aspect as they don't know anything about us but at the same time look look at what we're look at what we're showing the world and then at the end of the day, the media is not going to keep it real. They're going to keep trying to play for both sides. And that's what people is not realizing. That's what people are failing to realize. These people don't care about none of us. The Asians, the, all that money that these Asians are pulling together, they're going to use all this money and put into their their communities and to their Chinatowns, their Korean towns and their homes and, and overseas and everything else. You just think about all that money that 
Black Lives Matters and the rest of these black corporations incorporated last year up until anywhere this year and how much of it was spent on any type of infrastructure in these neighborhoods. Please share this video. If you're watching this video, if you made it to this end, please, please share the video. At the end of the day, man, this is the main reason why blacks are finishing last. It's right, it's right here in your face for you to see. This is why you this is why you always finish last. This is why we've always been. I'm 31 years old and I finally seen in the past couple years why every the the everything that's going on in our communities I see why you can't even be mad no more you can't even you really can't even feel no type of way All, only thing you can do is you know just be prepared for anything be prepared for these people who are being misled and being tricked for all these years when they finally decide to wake up, they're going to be really and truly mad. And I feel more mad than we are. So keep doing right. Keep living right. Share this video. I love y'all, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Like this video. See you on the next one. Peace. Started feel like shit, hand to the worst I wouldn't even make a dime if you put me on the climb Let me be there for a while when I look into your eyes I don't see the same smile, probably blame me for the drugs I was on them before you found me Huh? Seem like everybody judged me, so I ain't worried